want to say welcome. It's uh, great to have you on board. We're looking forward to uh, having a lot of hard work and some fun uh, to do with you in the coming weeks, months, and years, maybe, <laughs> we hope. Um, <laughs> so it's nice to have you. And does anybody else have any uh, reports or comments besides that? And then let me just continue on to uh, introducing our new human resources director, Melissa. And I am uh, in a quandary about how you pronounce the your, your <laughs> last name. So, so can you just tell us that and then we'll learn a little more about you. Yes, I'm gonna tell you that. And then also if I can find the chat option, um, put in the phonetic spelling. Yeah, we, <laughs> it's, we, um, we it's don't have, we, we, I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Go ahead, Paul. We don't have a chat function. That's not allowed under our open meeting law. Well, thank you. Okay, so it's Loyo DJ Walker. Once again, that's Loyo DJ. Loyo, all right. Loyo DJ. And you can call me Walker if that's easier. But in Italian, the uh, it's, it's L-O and the I-O says yo. So it's Loyo mm. and the D-I is D and the C-E is a Che. So it's a Loyo DJ. Mm. <laughs> All right. But um, I, I just wanted to say that I am um, really pleased to be in this role and I'm having a really great first week. Everybody has been extremely welcoming. I've been uh, meeting with department heads each day uh, to kind of find out about their purview of responsibility and their needs in regards to HR. Um, I hope to do the same with union leaders in the upcoming weeks, kind of an introductory meeting. I've um, been able to take a lot of time to meet as many people as I can, employees, council and committee members, uh, volunteers, some seniors. And um, through these conversations, I feel like I'm really getting a sense of my to-do list for the new year. <laughs> and so I just like to say, I really look forward to working with and partnering with all of you. And thanks for having me. Well, it's great to have you. Can you tell us a little bit about your, your background? You know, what did Absolutely. you- Absolutely. Yeah. So where do I start? I went to UMass. Um, well, I'll start by saying that my mother went to UMass, and when she did, I moved out to Amherst in uh, middle school. So I was here for fifth and sixth grade over at Wildwood, uh, and um, formative years. So I really, really enjoyed the place. I, I was, um, I didn't really want to move to Amherst. I remember, but once I did, I didn't want to move back um, <laughs> two years later. So unfortunately, I did, but I ended up coming back for uh, college at UMass, and um, and stayed for eleven years. Um, and raised my son here. And I went to graduate school. I lived in Amherst while I uh, went to graduate school in Springfield. Um, I left about, I don't know, I, it's hard to say. <laughs> the years have been going by so quickly. Maybe eight years ago, I left and went back to the Berkshires. Um, before I went to the Berkshires, I earned my uh, law degree and uh, became barred in Massachusetts. And I also earned my master's of social work. And um, I had a law practice in Amherst um, uh, starting in 2005. Um, I practiced law until about 2019. Well, I still kind of, yeah, I was practicing on the side, but I practiced law as a primary um, uh, career until about 2017-ish uh, uh, when I took a job as a director of operations at a nonprofit and then kind of morphed into um, the HR world. I took a job at uh, Berkshire Community College where I um, was previously before coming to the town. Um, as a lawyer, I did a lot of contracts in uh, labor and employment stuff, um, a lot of real estate, but I worked with a lot of uh, businesses, small businesses um, to help them through their HR and personnel problems. And so, there was a lot of transferable skills that I learned and um, that really transfer, transferred very seamless, seamlessly into the HR world and I've been enjoying it. And I'm just really excited to, um, to come to Amherst. Um, I was in academia, it's a little bit of a different world, but, uh, and, I, and I enjoy that because I wanna expand my experience and learn new things because that's what I like to do. So I'm just really excited. Well, we are too. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> and uh, welcome aboard. Thank you. And I actually want to go back to opening remarks uh, um, and just say something. I had the, the pleasure of attending the uh, state of the town town council meeting on, on Monday evening, where we heard
heard reports from different people, including the town manager, about the, the condition of the town and what's been happening and what might be happening. But the thing that I, I just thought was super wonderful was all those new staffers being sworn in on the fire department and the police department. And I just thought that was a great day for the town. I just was so proud to be there and see these new folks and then all the folks that have been making the town work so well all these years anyway. But that was a banner day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bet uh, I bet Paul, you were pretty proud as well to look at. Yeah, out. I really was. We were happy to be able to do that. We haven't done it since COVID actually. You know, we used to bring, especially public safety officers, we would bring them in for a ceremonial swearing in. Each of the departments does their own true swearing in when they take actually take office in their own building typically. But we like the community and the council to meet the people who are on the front lines like that. And so we would typically bring them in and they would bring their families in and things like that. And we haven't been able been able to do that. So we decided, you know, we needed to do that. And we sort of scooped up everybody who was who was hired this year or at least since March or something like that to um, do that. And, you know, and we had to limit the number of people because the room still has capacity limits. So, um, you know, but there were a lot of um, colleagues of theirs from the police and fire department yeah. and all the crest responders were there as well. So we had a, a crest officer um, sworn in as well. So that was a banner day. It was really, it was thrilling. Um, and, I, you know, we had the largest turnout of counselors. Um, I think we had 11 of the counselors present. Typically we have about five or six, so most are, a lot of them are doing remote. So that was, a, they, they valued it as well, so which I appreciated this so much. I, I actually thought it was interesting, Paul, that one of the counselors was present for the swearing in part. Uh, and then she left and she came back for the official town meeting. Yes, <laughs> so yes. She, I think she was saying, well, this is pretty important. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I want to be there. So good job. Is there any, I know this is like, it's just the way my brain goes, um, mm -hmm. is that like Tony, let's write up a little thing for the paper just a little editorial thing that's just like what a great day for the town I couldn't be prouder I love volunteering on the personnel board i mean we're the volunteers we we're town people and we have an insider's look and we get to see this and it, you know if 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 we don't celebrate it publicly in our local like who's doing it so anyway okay I wasn't there, but if you drafted something up, I would be happy to edit. Okay, I am. Uh, I made a note of that. And you know, take a crack at it. That yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a cool thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think it. And I was thinking that might be something we might. I'm not saying regularly, but you know, like that could be part of what we do: celebrate, recognize, because we have a, a position where we can see things and speak and communicate back toward the town not just in mm -hmm. yeah good suggestion and i'll do my best to follow up on it yeah okay so meanwhile back to <laughs> the second bullet point under new business which is discussion of personnel procedures manual committee reconvening in 2023 and i Confess, I have no idea where that is. Uh, for uh, maybe Melissa's benefit, the, uh, the last time the personnel procedures manual, which I assume you've read and memorized <laughs> and <laughs> taken an oath to uh, abide by, um, was updated. I don't know, at least eight years ago, maybe ten years ago. But it appears that it's time to. Um, take another good look at it because some things have been changed and they've sort of been band-aided into it. And the last time it was revised, my memory tells me that a small little task force of employees guided by the then HR director met almost weekly, I think, mm -hmm. but over an extended period of time. And they, they kind of went through section by section, line by line, you know, we need to update this. Uh, at that time, there were some some language that needed modernizing. Uh, in those days, all people were men, and so the pronouns were mostly he's. 
and so some language was uh, was updated, but some important policies uh, were as well, and I think some of them have been tweaked now. So I don't know if a decision is made, if Kay thought about this, but the fact that it says uh, a committee meeting reconvening sounds like the thinking is do that again, because it seemed to work pretty well. Paul, I see you, you nodding mm -hmm. your head. Is that sort of the thinking on this? Yeah, there, there, there's lots of lots on Melissa's plate when she is able to get through this sort of orientation period, but that is one of them and doing it. I think we really liked the process that was conducted last time, which the HR director at the time led with a group of, of, res, of uh, employees. And you're right, they were, it was a pretty intense process in that they took a section by section, week by week. Um, some of the employees are still here, so they would, um, they may want to continue to participate. This is for the, you know, regulate sort of HR behavior for non-union employees and, and parts of the, and if a union contract is silent, we refer to the, to the personnel, um, the HR handbook. Um, so that's on Melissa's plate, as is um, the uh, compensation study. Um, which is also on her plate. Um, so just to stick with the uh, with the revision of the PPM, I thought one of the benefits of th there was sort of a side benefit to that. The main was what we we got a new updated document. Um, but I thought it turned out to be a pretty good almost team building exercise mm -hmm. for those who were working so hard on it. Just the process of of spending some time together, uh, discussing, debating, I think maybe a little bit of arguing now and then uh, to flesh things out. Just uh, my my memory was those folks felt really good about the document and pretty darn good about each other mm -hmm. in terms of putting that together. So if we can... Uh, Another flavor, I'll just add to that because I think I was there for that. Mm -hmm. Has it really been eight years? Oh, Lord. It, it can't be eight years. It just can't be a year. It's, it's, I think it's five or six. Yeah, it's five or six. Okay, because I'm like, hmm. No, um, but you. but whenever it was, um, all just to piggyback on what you're saying, Tony, it was also a really good process for the personnel board. We went through yes, big uh, sections of that manual, and we had like a philosophical shift in what professional development meant. I remember spending right. a lot of time in the sections about. What does it mean for a manager to supervise? It can't just be this once a year. You fill out a form, maybe. So it was about reciprocity and um, professional development, holistic professional development, the teaming structures. So I know for our group, we also, yes. I think we were bringing, modernizing it in other ways, um, in addition to language, um, to stress the collaborative nature of work and so forth and then there was like a back and forth between the employees they would bring you know it came to our table then we'd look at it and go well how about this we think we think these things and then it would go back and so it was sort of like we were all looking at the same thing together mm -hmm. we brought out our shared vision our shared mission and the policies and practices to bring those alive yep yep so Big item on your plate, Melissa, to try to make that happen. It's uh, obviously very important. I, uh, I I think no one is expecting that to, to be done in a couple of months, but it would be nice to have it done, you know, this year. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so would this, uh, the task committee be comprised of mostly non-unit, non-union employees um, and be vetted also simultaneously or after through this personnel board or how do we envision yeah yeah i think we would maybe participate sometimes a question or two would come to us uh, as <laughs> was uh was uh was working on it and then i think when it's all done we have to officially as a board bless it and uh, after that, because that was when we were still under the town meeting uh, governance structure, I, I, I think that mm -hmm. <clears throat> did the board of selectmen have to uh, then approve the, that or? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't know whether the town council has to do that because the, the structures and what has to be approved by whom mm -hmm. is somewhat different from uh, from them, but it's uh, it's a, it's a, it's a big job. And 
I think it's closer to eight years then. <laughs> was it? Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I just I was just reflecting. I didn't think I had been here eight years, but if it's been eight years, then I've been here eight years. Oh my. Well, yeah. yeah. One oh. thing I was thinking about it, and maybe this is what Melissa is going to focus on is if there are certain areas that really need special attention since the last um, go round, uh, maybe those are things that we, I don't know whether we can talk about them, but you may pick up on some things with, where uh, certain sections need, uh, for various reasons, need uh, particular uh, special attention. So mm -hmm. just one, and maybe Paul already knows some. So well, and for sure Kay would know. Um, yeah. Okay. What areas need particular attention? I don't know how much she was involved uh, when the document was revised uh, an indeterminate number of years ago, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, the person, uh, the director was the woman who retired. Um, Deb Bradway. Yeah. Bradway, yeah. That's, yes. She. And I don't know what her. So yeah, whatever no. she, I don't know whether this put her into retirement or not. <laughs> she she really, really, really was involved in that in a huge way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, in eight years, um, channels of communication and document sharing and such have also changed. Yeah. So I know that. Well, I'm just thinking about this go around. If. I were to be looking at a document or we were, I would like to just go to a drive and have the place where I go. And then I can put suggestions there and not email and which version are we in or something like that. If we could really, um, yeah, centralize yeah. and we, we, yeah, we on, tend, on, on the web. <laughs> yeah, we, we tend to use um, uh, OneDrive or something like that, Microsoft's something, product. Yeah. Something that, you know, and if, if it could have links in the agenda, so we just always would know where to go, and that'd be great. Um, now, Paul also mentioned for Melissa the uh, compensation study. Is that what you called it? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. paying pay classification. And uh, we're going to hire a, an outside company to help with us. Is that correct? That's the plan? We yes. got some funding for that? Yes, we do have funding. We do have funding. We, do, we have to do the RFP process. So that has to be uh, developed and then go out to bid. And mm -hmm. so is there a timetable for that? We have, we have not. I mean, this is Melissa's third day we have not gone through well, this come stuff on, yet. It's third day. <laughs> <laughs> but we did talk about it yesterday yeah. and and she has experience doing this from the university setting and her i mean she can speak for herself but her point was that there's basically one company that does it for a lot of universities and that that company is slammed and they so we have to be alert that hmm. she was asking me questions about how many companies are out there that do this kind of work and things like that so well, is this a study to uh compare uh is this focusing on town administrative and employees or is this in general uh non-union employees non-union yeah. okay 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 yeah, it's it's like the one that was rather recently done for part-timers which right. was itself like the one that had been done a few years earlier mm -hmm. for full-timers right so um, there are, well, there's at least one company out there that does this and knows our system pretty well. And I don't know how many others will be interested in, uh, in, uh, in doing it. I think this is a, a significantly bigger project than the one that uh, was recently completed for the part-timers, just in terms of the scope mm -hmm. of uh, who's gonna be affected by it, uh, which is practically, I mean, it isn't, you know, the main domain is the non-union uh, uh, employees because the ones in unions have another set of conditions and rules to abide by, but the personnel procedures manual is nonetheless pretty darn important and has in it some procedures that basically everybody has to uh, abide by. So it's a, it's a major uh, piece of work. Mm -hmm. and uh we'll keep folks busy and melissa busy uh for a while mm -hmm. 
along with all the other things that you must have a really long to-do list already. Yes, but I'm not feeling the pressure yet. So it's been great to start the holiday season. People are, you know, low key, <laughs> just gathering the information and we'll prioritize it. All right. <laughs> Now, uh, continuing on with our agenda, the next bullet point is old business staffing report. And that was sent out uh, a few days ago, listing as our practice is, um, the uh, new hires and the departures uh, starting basically at the beginning of this fiscal year. And then we update what's happened most recently and a, a lot has happened officially that uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't think much has happened, but that this is these are now actions that have indeed happened. For example, there's this person who just got hired uh, two days ago with a very hard uh, to pronounce last name <laughs> that I happen to know is Loyo Dice Walker, whose first name Good is. Job. So uh, along with uh, another new person for the press team. And so that's a relatively low number of new hires, but absolutely important new people. And I am very embarrassed, uh, particularly to be on the personnel board to have to ask this question in the race column, what does T mean we got b for blacks i guess and oh. w for whites two or more races two or more races okay mm -hmm. all right fine i'm happy to learn that and i'll try to make sure that i uh don't forget it and then in the uh folks who have left uh, uh most recently there are two people who have resigned and one who have retired. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows. Sometimes we, we ask, well, why does why did this people why do these people resign? And one, uh, Kate Shapiro, she was a temp in the first place. It looks like. Yeah, and then she got a job uh, running a program, a permanent job running a similar program called the Dart program for the city of Northampton. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then I, uh, as Re Rebecca noticed last time, I do look at these with some care. And does anybody know what's the story with the division water director who it seems retired after only three months with us <laughs> as the higher date? Uh, the higher date's wrong. He's been with us for about 25 years. Okay, good. <laughs> so I was just curious that's, about that's that. That's got to be a typo. Yeah. I know we do weird things now and then, but yeah. I thought, man, that's a pretty... Retirement. Uh, no, he had his retirement party yesterday, actually. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. All right. And it looks like Maureen Pollock, she went on to something bigger and better somewhere else. Is that Yeah. It? So we had her farewell party yesterday, too. And Melissa was, uh, <laughs> Melissa's family did nothing but parties lately because we had the food. First floor had their food day on Monday. Then yesterday we had a farewell party for Maureen. Maureen's got this great new job uh, as a planning director for the city, the town of Montague. Um, and she was really, you know, torn. We we made a pretty strong run to to keep her, but you know, she's sees herself as a Franklin County person, and it really and and her one of her best friends is um, her husband is the assistant town manager up there. So, ah, yeah. so there's connections. Anyway, um, that's a big loss, and that and that builds on losing Ben Brieger, who was our other planner. So the planning department's really struggling um, right now. They are they've lost half their staff. And so we're recruiting for that um, pretty aggressively. Okay. Uh, next item on our business is approving the minutes of, uh, it's actually November 16th. My, no matter how many times you look at the, the stuff, you always miss things. Because the copy of the agenda, agenda I'm looking at says we uh, need to review and approve the September 28th 2022 minutes. We already did that in November. What we need to approve are the minutes for November the 16th, which I assume those were sent out correctly. Uh, and 
the and I've looked at them fairly carefully and I don't know does anybody have any comments or questions the, the, the one thing I noticed that I wanted to correct but now based on what Catherine was saying uh, at the beginning of the <laughs> meeting uh, I wanted to correct the spelling of her name because the minutes say C-A-T-H-E uh, call me anything, I'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Rebecca, you got anything to add? No. Nope. Correct or uh, to the minutes of our November meeting? Nope, looks great. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Second. Well, I'll second it, I guess. <laughs> Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All right, opposed, abstaining. Okay, so the minutes are approved. And we have set the next personnel board meeting for uh, Wednesday, January the 18th. As far as everyone knows who's here, is that gonna be okay? For you, I think that may be a little later than we sometimes. We're supposed to be the second Wednesday of the second, month. Second, yeah, yeah, but I think we pushed that back because today's meeting was pushed back, and uh, I thought, well, not a lot, not a heck of a lot is going to happen in the next uh, what three weeks because of the holidays uh, and stuff. So it'll be Wednesday, January the eighteenth. Okay. Anything else for the good of the order here? Do we, um, could we just, um, Melissa, do you know how you're interacting with this board and do we know how we're interacting with you? Just, I don't know if Actually, we I'm not quite clear on it. I've, I've read a little bit yeah. um, in, the personnel, um, <laughs> in the personnel manual and I know that uh, you are advisory to us and you also, I think, have responsibility to review certain things such as compensation studies. Um, but I, I really don't have uh, the details as to that. So any clarification would be- yeah, I don't think I do either. No. I was just like, <laughs> oh, let's figure out how we want to like hang out together. Uh, well, that's it. So that's I, something I, to figure out. Yeah, I, I'd like yeah, to. Yeah, I would like that. that. Yeah. Because um, I don't know if sometimes the agendas are put together jointly or I I don't know. I'm a little Tony's Tony's. Well, the draft agenda knows. is usually it comes from the uh, HR director or, the, or that office uh, comes to me. And I look at that and I usually say, great. Or once in a while I'll say, well, let's do this or do that. And uh, and then it uh, comes out the same as the minutes. I get a, a draft copy of the minutes uh, beforehand and then send them back. So the uh, we work actually, the, the board works pretty closely with the right. HR director. And, uh, you know, we collaborate a lot um the the hr department sort of is the staff for the board in terms of getting agendas out and out meetings and uh, and keeping the minutes um and there certainly uh, has been uh, time in the past when sort of between meetings something that has come up that makes good sense for me to talk directly with the HR director about. And so, and I also serve once in a while when the HR director has something on her mind, uh, I'll, we'll have a conversation along those lines. So, but from my perspective, it's been a very good relationship and we, we work together. Uh, we are not supervising one another. We you know it's it's a it's a collaboration that, that i think works out pretty well for the town and the town's employees so that's my sense but feel free Catherine and rebecca to add or subtract or say well why don't we start doing this or stop well this? i just want to say tony's awesome he's been our chair for a while Catherine and i are both like no you do it <laughs> or you know <laughs> yes. 
you know, um, and so I just want to express again, deep and profound appreciation for Tony's leadership skills, his warm, caring nature, his complete con competence. Um, so I just, that's one of the reasons why it works so well. I think obviously the board works well together, but the board works well with the human resource director. So I would just second what Tony's saying in that, um, it, you know, sometimes leadership positions in the town can be lonely jobs because it's kind of right. a job. And we are your team. Yeah. Uh, that's how I think of it. I'm like, I want, oh. you to have home, I want you to have a home team of equals, of people who are here to consult, be critical friends, offer feedback, all that. That's how I see our yeah. role. Mm -hmm. And I, appreciate I want, that. To, play. I want mm -hmm. to play that role. Yeah, I think I agree. I totally agree. I, uh, Melissa, that you should feel comforted because you do have this personnel board yeah, uh, and a lot of other <coughs> leaders uh, don't have anything like this. So yeah, and I certainly ditto everything about Tony's leadership in this. It's just, yeah, it's a pleasure to be associated with this. Yes, a total uh, pleasure. Yes, personnel board. Well, thank you for those kind words. It's a team effort yeah. <laughs> all in this together. No team. Uh, we got a new team member named Melissa Loyo DJ Walker. Loyo <laughs> DJ. <laughs> you want to do my Zumba? <laughs> hey. no, I am comforted and thankful, and I, I I definitely am happy to have a partner in you guys. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you'll like us. We like you. You'll <laughs> like us. <laughs> Catherine, don't overpromise. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll well, let you find out. Enough with the frivolity. <laughs> Get the heck back to work, everybody. This okay. meeting is adjourned. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks right, so much. Bye -bye. Have a good holiday. Bye-bye. <laughs>